Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hello. Hey, can you, can you tell those guys to stop yelling in that weird desert language behind you? Hey, you hear me, Joe? Hey, I got some stuff I want to bring down, man. I got a whole treasure chest full of shit. I'm getting a bunch of attitude off your guy. I'm dead, Joe. I'm not playing games, all right? Joe? What the hell is all that hubbaloo behind you? Hello. I'm not calling you every day. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not calling you every day, you fucking crybaby. Hello? What the hell are you here? You got me confused. Good. Yeah, you sound like a fucking crybaby. I'm not calling you every day. I don't know what you're talking about. I want to come down there and give you the fucking treasure, man. What am I smoking? Yeah, what are you smoking? Smoking Kush, dog. What are you smoking? Nothing. No shit. No shit. You need some Kush? Oh, man. Yo, I'm dead serious. I have a fucking treasure chest, but I think I might have got... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> hey, I need to talk to Joe the jeweler. I gotta clear the air. Yeah, who's it? Seriously. What? I gotta talk to Joe the jeweler. I need to clear the air. All right, Who thank you. No, it's not Joe the Jeweler. Who, who? Wait, who this you? isn't Joe the Jeweler? You want Joe? I can let you talk to Joe. Yes, please. Let me jeweler. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Bye. Oh. Hello. Yo, Joe. What's up? I think we got off on the wrong foot, man. This is Joe the Jeweler, right? No, no. What do you mean? Yo, all I wanted to do was just show you the fucking treasure, but I think you're scared of the pirate's curse. I can assure you, you won't get the pirate's curse on this treasure. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I have a what? treasure chest full of gold, rubies, and emeralds. So what do you need me for? I'm gonna help, you're going to help me sell it. I want to help sell it. Yeah, dude, you don't sell gold? Oh, uh, I mean, what's wrong with you? Tell me, what the fuck are you smoking? Seriously. I'm not smoking anything. I have pi Are you scared of the pirate's curse? What the fuck are you smoking? Tell me. I'm not smoking anything. I have a treasure chest. You're the only one I know who can help me sell this. But, but, you gotta watch out for the ghost swashbucklers who are gonna try to get us. Joe. What's your flavor? Tell me what's your flavor. What's your flavor? What's your flavor? Tell me what's your flavor. What's your flavor? Tell me what's your flavor. I met this black girl in the club went by the name of Pecan Deluxe. This ice cream was high maintenance when I took her out and it cost me 20 bucks. Yo, what the fuck? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? There you go, you're working on your intro. Yeah, I took your advice. I'm doing a super aggressive intro now. Fuck What's up, yeah. pussies? Welcome to episode four. The fucking gloves come off. Nobody thought we'd make it this far. No way. No one thought we'd make it past the second one. Yep. The third one, we fucking huddled up brought it together here we are for the fourth episode episode four stronger than ever this is fiercely united this is really unbelievable <laughs> fiercely <laughs> united yo a couple quick shout outs shout You're out john kane shout Kane's. out aunt sue What's i up, hear aunt you out sue? there aunt sue my girlfriend's aunt listens to this what up girl Woo, baby girl <laughs> <laughs> cousin pat what up dog cousin Steve pat me check Ooh. What's up, player? Yo, M. Bicey, Ooh, Leo Coin, all the players. Big Leo. My girlfriend made out with a guy in my dream last night. Ah, uh, that's the worst. It is the worst. I'm mad at her now. You should. You should. She made out with Mike Connolly, a good friend of mine in my dream. Don't <laughs> even think about it, Mike. I know you listen to this. Yeah, stay out of here, don't dude. Don't you fucking dare. Damn, dude. You got passionate make out? I don't know. You I don't just, remember? I just found out about it. What do you mean? In my dream. Oh, okay. So you I didn't see like it. see the makeout. Gotcha. I just got wind of it. That's a tough one. Caitlin said it accidentally in conversation in my dream. So the other night I made out with the guy. <gasps> oh. And I was like, "What the fuck was that?" And he woke up. This moved her to. No, and then I argued with her for like four hours in my dream. Oh, that's really it was a long dream. 
Shit. And then I woke up. That's crazy. Yeah. I've been noticing I have like I have heart rates. I my heart rate sp- spikes when I sleep. Really? It goes up to like 130 beats a minute. Nice. I have, I have dog dreams. I'm I'm just twitching all night like <laughs> 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 All my girlfriends is making out with everyone, dude. Yeah. Fuck all my that. past girlfriends you just stepping them. out. Well, it it stemmed from our conversation yesterday about Oh yeah. Kate, yeah. Got in a heated debate about Caitlyn at uh, CrossFit. I'm not a fan. Why? Because I don't like her working out with other dudes. You don't dudes. think she's just flipping tires over? She's flipping <laughs> tires and the dudes are sitting behind her watching. Cupping her butt. Some guy named Dwayne is just sitting back there. They're helping oh. her stretch and shit. Some, yeah, some Fuck newly that. some newly jacked dude with a man bun. Yeah. He works in like oh. the marketing department somewhere. With his fucking cool fucking socks and his cool funny Ugh. t-shirt. He's got a punny... Yeah. Tank top on. Like, come at me, bro. Or yeah, something come dumb. at me, bro. Oh, my God. And uh. he sucked at sports in high school. He sucked his whole life, so now he's jacked. Yeah. He's 30. He That's like, what CrossFit is. Yeah, it's when you, you're you such a nerd, you learn enough about science to get jacked. Yeah. It's, you're not really jacked. You just tricked your own body. Yeah. Being you read a, you read a bunch of Maxim articles. Exactly. And now you're there. How to tuck your tummy. <laughs> oh, fucking pussies. How to get six-pack abs to the beach. You ever notice that real athletes look like me? It's true. <laughs> it's true. Wearing a sweatsuit, fat. Dude, <laughs> it's, athleticism is something that lives inside you. Fuck yeah. You don't learn that at CrossFit. You don't go get jacked and fucking no. be the best fucking lifter. They're doing deadlifts for hand jobs. That's what they that really is. are. They're hoping to get jerked off one. They day. are. No. They're all they go there to work out and then they're like, "All right, on Friday everybody, let's go. Let's just chill. Let's go meet at Kyoto's. Let's go to this bar. Let's have let's a good time." Buffalo Wild Wings, we'll hang out. Yeah, we'll do gonna, a marathon. We'll go to B-dubs. Me and the guys are going down to B-dubs <laughs> and uh Caitlin, you should come. Yeah, and then that's know. when a guy gives Caitlin one too many margaritas. And touches her butthole. And he touches her butt. Matt, don't ever talk about Caitlyn's what? butthole. <laughs> I'm just saying that's the that's you the plan. Fucking pig. They're just saying they're trying to get drunk and touch buttholes. I'm not saying hers. I'm saying she's buttholes. like no, but they're married. They're all nice. It's fuck that, dude. The level of depravity of these dudes reach when they're oh, married. Oh fucking, I'm I'm gonna get a membership and just sit there. You have to, dude. I'm just gonna go watch. You make sure just, no one's fucking touching. You her. should just do the raid and smash and just fly across at people, and pull out, <laughs> just fucking pin them against the wall. Yeah, dude. I'm just gonna. Yeah, just get a membership, you pull up to. a chair, and just follow her to every station, and just sit next to her. It's blocked. Fucking just hold just up, slam a, the yeah, weights. Yeah, hold up a fucking tarp. Just get, get the heaviest weights and just do shrugs, dude. <laughs> just fucking yeah, she's. I might get her like a Saudi Arabian woman's outfit. You should to cross I'm, I'm gonna start treating her like a. I'm a Saudi prince. And you then are. She's one of my. She's part of my harem. Yes. She's gonna she's have to start head. wearing a fucking blanket. <laughs> you gotta. You have to wrap her up. She's in gonna a dress up like. Uh, poor kid as a ghost for Halloween. <laughs> I'm just gonna get her a bed sheet, cut some holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you gotta do that. Absolutely, dude. How much do you respect the Saudi culture? I've uh, after now seeing this whole CrossFit debacle that's purely in your head. How yeah. how much do you respect? I had a fucking bit about that. How I used to be like, like on stage, be like, I respect all cultures. Yeah, and like have the liberal fucking kids like, yeah, yeah. like I especially respect Muslim cultures. <laughs> And Especially like, Saudi Arabian uh, cultures where women can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would free up a lot of space. Oh, my God. He's fucking Chuck Rocks. Yeah. If Caitlin rock gets out of line, dude. If yeah, Caitlin gets dude. out of line at CrossFit, I'm Chuck hitting rocks are coming in flying. Reach the fish tank and fucking throw a pebble at her, dude. Right at her fucking forehead. Like, yep. Hey, That's a warning. It's a fucking warning crack. I'm about to Saudi you. <laughs> We're about to get Saudi style up in here, Fuck dude. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's Aunt Sue. Don't listen to that part. Dude, <laughs> that is that is the land of fucking just jet skis and fucking Lambos. Fuck yeah. Saudi Arabia, you're either rich as fuck and you throw rocks at people from your Lambo, or you're just a poor fucking peasant. Or you're like, getting hit with sticks. Just fucking, yeah, you're just like a poor desert wanderer, just like sucking goat nipples for milk and fucking <laughs> getting hit with a dude, stick. Dude, I watched this. <laughs> Some dude with a Lambo whacks you with a stick by. when you suck his goat's nipples, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, I watched this fucking, there's a documentary on Netflix about Saudi Arabia, and uh-huh. this guy got hit with a stick in public because he had, like, a Facebook post that was, like, not Muslim. Oh, my God. He had to get hit with a stick a thousand times. What did the, the post was probably like, yeah, it's Friday, and they're like, whack, get the <laughs> yeah, fuck dude, out of here. You better not be having fun. T-G-I-F, they're like, T-G, pshush. Yeah. Hit him with the fucking stick. T-A-I-F, dude. Thank a lot. T-A, here. baby. All right, hot, hot, Ooh, hot cast, baby. baby. 
This one goes out to the Measlims. What's up, dogs? <laughs> Measlims. <laughs> Young Measy. See how, Matt, you better watch how you talk about Muslims. I love Muslims. You've done dude. this. Last time you said they oh, worshipped cats. Don't, I did not say that. <laughs> you said they worshipped cats. You said Muslims worship the sand god and cats. I did not say the sand god. I asked you if you meant the sand god from Aladdin, the big jaguar that pops its head out of the yeah, sand. Yeah, that's the sand god. So, I mean, this is a serious question. Do Muslims believe in genies? Yes. <laughs> they definitely do. They do, I know. Yeah, genies are genies very Genies are an real. integral yep. part. Yep. Genies, what? cats are the most... Cats are number one. That's what ISIS is fighting it's about right now. Cats they want cats They want more dogs. cats. They want to turn all the, the dog parks in America into cat parks. <laughs> 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 the big sandboxes. What do you... Th- you actually read recently that... You know those guys... Um, it's a specific thing, guys who wear the turban. It's called like... Uh, there's a word for it. I forget what it is. Oh, like Indian, like Sikh. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Sikhs. Sikhs. That's, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. Those guys, by their like religious law, are supposed to have a sword on I them. I told you that. No, I read it on the internet. I just told you that like when three weeks ago. But they settle for daggers. Yeah, there was a guy who came into my work. Really? It's, yeah. So it was them. I read I it on. Maybe I researched. He was holding it after a fucking knife. It. Yeah, they have to have them. Yeah, they have to have a knife and they have to have like a gold bracelet. They have yeah. crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, and chiclets. Yeah. In a, in a pocket full of ch- loose chiclets. <laughs> 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 it just rattles, letting you know when they're angry. The night, the, yeah. their, their fucking dragon sword hits the fucking chiclets. The sand god was like, and you have to have <laughs> chiclets. <laughs> <laughs> they're so banged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe you told me that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so next time you're in 7-Eleven, wising off to the dude, man, know that he's going to bust out a yeah. fucking pocket, a Swiss army on your ass, dude. Yeah, no, they're not Muslim, though. I know they're not. Yeah. It's a different thing. Sick. Yeah, they're like uh, like the Bayou Billy of the Middle East, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? They're yeah, like fuck Crocodile up. Dundee. Yeah. <laughs> it's a warrior culture. Yeah. Much like the Jews. Yeah. It's Matt, warrior. what do you it's think of Jewish people? Dude, I'm reading that book, Night, right now. Oh, yeah. Nothing but respect. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a fucked up book. Yeah, let's not talk about Night on here. You don't want to talk about throwing babies up in the air and fucking... I would rather not talk about right. the Holocaust right now. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's fu- dude, that shit was fucked up. Anyway, back to lighter news. Oh, yeah, you listened to Joe Rogan's podcast, and you said it changed your life. Oh, my God, yeah, there was this one episode where this Canadian guy came out of the heat, but he won't say zur and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, he's not using pronouns. for. He's a professor in Toronto. Yeah, either he, way, I'm not going to get bogged down on this, but basically he, he just opened my eyes up to why people should be religious and stop being little fucking dorkish fucking atheists. Hell, yeah. And that's, you know... And now you're Catholic again. I'm Catholic again. I just, boom, one podcast. I'm Catholic, baby. I say Catholic. I man. was at, dude, I was at a homily the other day. I had to go to a funeral, man. I was listening to the homily, like, engaged, like, fuck yeah, this is what's up. Were you high? No. Good. Not at the funerals, only for weddings. You don't get high at funerals? No, dude. You've never been high at a funeral? No, I have not. You promise? I swear to, promise. I swear to God. You've never been a little high? Like the high like was a, Like off? a next day bonus here, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> like a next day wake up, like, yeah, all right. I don't know. I don't yeah. think so. Only weddings. So, yeah, dude, I've, I've changed my life. I'm traditional now. I'm a traditional man. So. Now, you, you said something about how old men respected women or something. Yeah, that was my big thing. I'm like, yeah, I just like, just how an old man will stay with his wife for 40 years and just silently suffer. And I'm like, man, that's such a such a stoic, beautiful thing. And then, like, I was having this, like, deep revelation. Then it hit me, and I was like, oh, fuck, those guys used to be able to hit their wives. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, maybe they're not the heroes I haven't painted yeah. out to be. They didn't get divorces, but yeah, they fucking threw a jab. That's what, That was a trade-off, you said. That's a trade-off. You couldn't get divorced back then, but now you, you could put them in the Boston Crab. <laughs> but you can't be crab someone. You can't crab. Yeah, you can't put chicks in the Boston Crab, but you can get a divorce. You can't. There's, like, you can't do anything, dude. No fucking clotheslines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, now, we, we talked about this a little before, and there's nothing funny about domestic violence, no. but thinking of a dude that does, like, karate or wrestling moves to his girlfriend yeah, like a fucking, is fucking hilarious. Like a flying spin kick? Just a fucking flying back heel? It's like, yo, did you hear about the Osbournes? <laughs> like, no, what? Mr. Osborne tombstoned Mrs. Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh, my God. Anybody giving somebody a Stone Cold Stunner out of, like, actual rage? <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, it's true. The mandible, man client, just a Holy fucking just sock on the hand. Now, the claw, the mandible claw seems like that's, <laughs> that seems domestic violence No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It's like just ch- strangling someone. No, it's not. It's sticking your hand in someone's mouth and fucking putting yeah, it Yeah, I know. In mouth. That's, that's something, strangling. that's something, that's not a hard move. That's something, I guarantee. <laughs> I guess anyone could do that. I guarantee somebody's done that out that's of true. rage. 
I'm talking about the fucking... mandible. Imagine being so mad that you just you're just like I don't. I'm just sticking my hand in your mouth. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stick my hand in your mouth. I'm thinking, yeah, uh, like a a submission is fucking hilarious. Submission, like aerial, an arm, an aerial bar, attacks. Dude. <laughs> fucking an upside down guile kick, dude. It's fucking sonic boom. <laughs> 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 or you if you can move your leg real fast, like Chun Li, like one kick's not funny. Fifty in a minute, fucking hilarious. If yeah. Like, a running knee kick at one of your kids <laughs> from, ac- from across the room for taking the remote. Is <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about that before, just like when I'm walking down the street and I see someone just like super old. I'm like, dude. How much damage could I do with one kick? Did you ever see like a super oh, yeah. old person walking down the street? Yeah, you're, like, you're saying that about that old lady at the open mic. One good jump kick, dude. How much? I I would just you could like, kill him kill easily. Him. Death, right? Yeah, if you gave an old lady like sweet chin music to the fucking chest, oh, it's a running jump kick. Just claps everything Death. in there. Their bones are like old chicken bones, <laughs> like dry old they, Popeye's yeah, bones. Yeah, they dude. fucking snap like nothing. That would literally be a real life. Did they combat. die if they fall? That's true. So if a stud like me gave him a flying knee... My grandma got stuck behind her house for like a day. <laughs> she fell. <laughs> she, got, she was trying to get... Like, like a was, bush? Yeah, she was trying to turn a hose on. Oh, and man. And it's behind a bush. Like behind like a real <laughs> tall bush. And she fell and just got stuck there. For a day? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's fucking Sounds like the beginning of some fucked up fairy tale. She's just, yeah, like, yeah. Just trapped old, in and then bushes. a young boy helps her <laughs> and she Tears. puts a curse on him. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I can inflict so much damage on the elderly. That's a real thing, elderly abuse. Like, nurses who work in uh, those homes go up and, like, shake up the fucking patients. Yeah. Elder abuse, yeah. Look out for they it. They fucking play the they, earthquake they, game with yeah, it. The way you did with that hamster you killed. No, if they get a little lip. A lot of those people are, like, crazy. They'll go in there and hit them with a fucking... Hit them with a racial slur. The nurse will come in and be like, you know what, motherfucker? And choke them up. Yeah. Some lady might not have had her coffee that they morning. They also fuck a lot. They fuck a lot. The geezers dude. fuck, dude. The geezers, dude. <laughs> the geezers fuck hard yeah. there. The, the STDs is a big problem at nursing homes. We got to do something about it. We should start giving awareness talks to older people in the those homes. Geezers about, like, like... Keep your fucking dick in your pants. Teach them how to, like, do the pile driver. <laughs> <laughs> do fucking sick moves. I'm going to go do an awareness talk about, like, those guys that like, shouldn't fuck each other because it's gross. Like, it's so gross when you guys have sex. Please <laughs> stop. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about this. <laughs> they keep writing articles about it, and I want to throw up. Oh, my God. Keep your fucking a thousand-year-old dicks Dude, out of your... think of an old lady vagina with, like, oh. STDs all over it. Oh. Like, it's bad enough fully healthy. Well, I think at, like, 80 years old, your butthole and your vagina become one. They, <laughs> they do. They merge. They definitely you do. You just have a big butt vi- vagina. <laughs> 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 That's real science. That is. At 80 years old, you have a butt gina. <laughs> it just all blends into one thing. Fuck. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? No, but I know that sometimes penis. when you give birth... Really? They're fucking... It tears? Their taints rip out. Oh. Yeah. That dragon... Do girls have the dragon skin between their butts and their vaginas? Yeah, the taint. Yeah, but you know how you have, you go on your balls, you have dragon, it's like that scaled little fucking line. In, yeah. It's that dragon skin. Do they have that? <laughs> dragon's <laughs> <It's your> dragon's <laughs> back. <laughs> Do they have that? I don't know. No, I don't think. I would have noticed that. I'm I might down take a there. break to go check. I get in there. I'm going to go check. Some uh, fucking Dwayne from CrossFit would know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> he would he fucking probably, know. He probably has a special keychain with a feather just for girls' fucking taints, dude. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> God. Like, well, I didn't get pussy in high school, but now I'm jacked at CrossFit. Now I read online about the clitoris. <sighs> what a fucking dick. Fuck, I hate those guys. We gotta join. Just one We gotta day. join CrossFit. Yeah, I agree. No, dude, because now they've been working out. They'd crush us in workouts. No, they wouldn't. We'd still beat the shit out of them. Exactly, and if we did it for like two months, we would just crush them. Yeah. And if and we didn't, we could just And we could still call them. them gay. Exactly. Which, you know, that would suck. That would suck if we went there and then Dwayne just beat the shit out of me. And then made out with Caitlyn. <laughs> he wouldn't, though. No, nah, he couldn't. He I couldn't. have too much power. You have way too much power, way too much ferocity. Thank you. He, Plus, he would dude. try to, like, challenge you to a sprint race, and you'd be like, fuck you, dude. I'd be like, that's gay. That's so, dude, yeah, you want to foot race me? How about we fucking line up one-on-one pass blocking? Yeah, exactly. Let's do a, pa- let's I'd do a drill. I'd fucking pancake him the way I put you down at the beach. <sighs> you put me down at the beach. Uh, was, I stood you again, up. They, those were hazy times. Stood you up I there. I don't remember. 
So Matt's been challenging me to. I played offensive line, and Matt's been challenging me to <laughs> pass blocking for a long time. The first I was a time was like defensive end. The first time was like a year and a half ago, outside of Mike, <laughs> and I just fucking wrapped him up, and he was like, "Oh, you're stronger than I thought." <laughs> and then uh, we were we were on our fucking sick ass southern southern tour this summer. Oh, that time. Yeah, the, the beach, dude, stood you up a little bit. Stood you up, boy. I don't recall. You stopped in your tracks. For all the for all the big Matt fans out there, I don't recall. All right. Yeah, Matt was probably a little blazed. <laughs> no, I was. Eh, maybe. No, I honestly I remember that. Yeah, I couldn't get around you. Then again, when we when I like opened the box, I could get behind you and contain. What do you mean? Like, we were starting real close when I moved back to the linebacker position and got some space. Well, yeah, that's fucking board. impossible. Well, to pass block with no. To me, yeah, I get there's it. There's no lanes. I'm quick. Yeah, you're fast. I was coming on. I went one time. I rolled under Shane's legs and popped up. It was all crazy. Right, that's, no, that's not true at all. I would have fucking just laid on you. That would have been hilarious. I jumped over him. I did that move the one time. Also, what's really funny is think about this: oh, is God. if anyone saw that, <laughs> these two dudes on the beach pass blocking each other. <laughs> <laughs> these two dudes at like what was that September? On Myrtle uh, Beach. Yeah. I had a pink Myrtle, Myrtle Beach, Beach, South Carolina. I had a pink Myrtle you Beach You bought a fucking suit. CrossFit tank top <laughs> I had a skin outfit. Board. <laughs> you bought a skimboard <laughs> and a pink fucking Myrtle Beach outfit. Yeah, it was two thir- basically 30-year-old men on the beach together. One had a pink bathing suit. And one was like... I'd come out of the water from skimboarding and I'd kind of wrestle Shane. And then we'd lay down next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went home. I forgot about that. Yeah, it was really funny. That was fun. But, uh... What else is burning in your world? Well, right now, other than Caitlin making out with my friend of my dream and CrossFit's gay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Just, you just woke up just scorned from Astral Betrayal. I woke up mad, and then Shit. I also woke up 10 minutes late. I woke up at 10.10, 10, and I had to move my Corolla out of my two hour parking Before the, the fat white trash monster yeah. gave you a ticket. Oh, she's the worst. I called her a cunt one time. You shouldn't have done that. See I how, had to. Listen, listeners. Go ahead. Listeners. <laughs> this is how Matt McCusker treats women. No, Imagine no, no, that. No, no, no. He called a woman. Who gave me a $76 ticket. The C ticket. word. I so what? 150%. I gave, I, I was dropping off my laundry to, I'm a strong ally in the Asian community. To the lady who does to the Korean laundry. Jews that were washing your clothes is no, that what you called she them? Was not didn't, Korean. didn't you call them? I'd never call them that. You wouldn't go to a Korean I'd business. Never, yeah, I would. This dude definitely would. Then why do you call them the Jews of Asia? It's a term of endearment. Oh, it's a good thing. Yeah. You sure strong, you didn't mean they're a strong band? They you know the they way work you said well. it was like they they're very shysty. That's just through your fucking just distorted filter. Okay, so you meant when you said. Koreans were the Jews if of Asians. If I ever said Hold that. Hold on. Don't fucking cut me off. Go ahead. When you said Koreans are the Jews of Asia, you meant that in a good way. If I ever said that, yes. Or yes. No? yes. Yes, I would have meant that in a good way. If you I meant had that said in that. a nice way. I say a lot of kick-ass things. I don't remember. Because <laughs> <laughs> it sounded negative. Nah, dude. Because I, I remember exactly when it was. It was after I had Ubered a gang of Korean kids. Yeah. And you were saying how they probably, I was like, they treated me like shit. I was, I was, they treated me like, oh, you're the driver and just drive us. Yeah. And you're like, oh, they're probably Korean, dude. And I was yeah. like, what do you mean? You're like, Koreans are like the Jews of Asia. That's how you recall. said it. That doesn't that sound endearing to me. That sounds like a highly fictionalized account. Now, I, might, I probably designed. did fictionalize that, but I do remember that was what stemmed the conversation. Because you were remember. asking me how Ubering was, and I was like, I just drive Asians around. Yeah, maybe. I might have said that. Who knows, dude? I'm an open book. If I said that... I stand by it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Nah, I don't. You're going the fucking Trump route? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking no apologies? I just want to get 50 million people in the country. Like, yo, Matt fucking rules. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, dude, boy. fuck it. What was I just saying? I was asking you. I had something I don't fucking know. hot lined up for you. You think? And you derailed me. You destructed me. It was probably, was stupid. it about Koreans? No. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, it was that fucking lady, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I came out, I dropped my clothes off at, uh, you know, the fucking the laundry place, and uh, I come out, and I was in there for literally two seconds. I had a $76 ticket on my car. I was like, dude, Fuck. I just came in and out. The lady's like, well, that's too bad. And it just, you know, sometimes you don't have fucking 80 bucks to spare. Yeah, that was bankrupt me. 
Yeah, this lady's just fucking nailing you, and I was just like, you fucking cunt, cunt, cunt. Oh. And it just echoed, and this lady just stopped and was like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and so we had this epic just like, fuck you, no, fuck you, you fucking bitch. And she was like, I hope your fucking mom dies of cancer. That's what she said to me. I hope your mom dies of cancer. And I was like, if you were my mom, I'd hope I was dead of cancer because you fucking suck. And we just, <laughs> the worst shit we could think of. I was like, I hope your whole fucking family dies. And she was like, fuck you, I hope your family fucking dies. Holy fuck. And I was like, if I was in your family, I'd fucking kill myself. And it was just never ending. And then this guy, like some old fucking black dude came around the corner and just heard the last thing she said, which is like, I hope you fucking die of AIDS. And then she got in her car and this old guy was like, Man, what's her problem? Like, I don't know, dude. She's <laughs> fucked up. And just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Purely started it. Yeah, she's she's mean, dude. She got nasty. Fuck, I forget what she said to me. She, like, yelled at me. She probably did. Like, I was moving my car, and she was like, is this your car? Yeah, and she's I was a like, fucking yeah. asshole. I actually, I ensued her in my car. I followed her and just, like, rode her ass and, like, kept trying to... And then she finally oh, wow. on the phone. I fucking... I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about ramming into her car. I was that angry. Really? Yeah. You should have hit her. I wanted to, man. You should have fucking suplexed her. You're... It, <sighs> once again, it's legal to hit women if you do a wrestling move. I, t- I told you, if all four of your limbs are off the ground, if you're yeah. up in the air... If you would have frog splashed her? Exactly. If you stood on your car <laughs> and frog splashed her off your car... <laughs> If I had given her a running British bulldog and caught the back of her neck <laughs> while I was in the air and drove her down, dude, that would have been fine. For all the listeners, just, if your feet are on the ground, hands off. Domestic violence is not funny, man. It's not funny. So just quit joking about it. It's not domestic, though, if you're not in a relationship. True. It's violence against women. Violence. violence against women is not funny. The Thank parking you for authority. The parking authority. Beating up women is not funny. The parking authority, though. What about that? You should be able to at least give them a Charlie horse. <laughs> you should, dude, like, fuck them. I I fantasize all the time, and I think I could get away with it. Just seeing like any, you know, par- preferably male parking authority, you know. But you know, if I had to, <laughs> just seeing like a parking authority guy like leaned against the car, giving him a ticket, and just running as fast as I can, just checking him into checking the car, in. running away. They would fuck. never catch you. That's hilarious. It'd be so awesome. That would be awesome. Oh fuck! Somebody That's, do that. Hitting women isn't funny, but. Seeing a woman fall down is very, very oh, funny. That's the best. Like, uh, one time, me and my friend were leaving the bar, and we just saw this dude just push his girlfriend. Like, they were getting in a fight, and they and he he pushed her. And he shoved her. And she fell. <laughs> and, like, we stopped him. Yeah, we yeah. came over there, and we're like, what the fuck? But it was like, I said it, like, while I was like, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Because <laughs> it was so fucking funny <laughs> watching this girl, like, <laughs> her hair flying on. I think that's the long hair is what makes it fun. And the total lack of athleticism. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a cartoon. Like, their body's this way, and their hair's still up. Like, when the roadrunner, <laughs> or when the fucking Wiley Coyote falls off a cliff, it's just his body and his legs drop. They always fall like they got tased, too. Oh, yeah. There's no fucking attempt to stop anything. They just... It's like watching a giraffe fall. Just, like, <laughs> totally, like, <"Whoa." laughs> Except Caitlyn, dude, you can't push her. Nah, dude. The unpushable. She probably lands on her shoulder, then rolls. Yeah. Somersaults. Does that fucking superhero pose? <laughs> the she lands with her knuckles with her on fist. the ground. <laughs> and just looks up at you. Ooh. <laughs> right into the spear, dude. The Goldberg spear. <gasps> you and Caitlyn should wrestle. I fuck her up. You should do a show where I it's beat just you and Caitlyn wrestling. Caitlin. I would destroy her. That's fair. She's tried. She tries to get strong every once really? in a while. I got to remind her. It's yeah. funny, too, because she lifts and works out like every single day. And you can still just I just sit there and play Xbox, and she comes <laughs> home, and I'm like, come here. <laughs> Put her in an arm bar. Good. Sweep the legs. <laughs> Did I talk about the time I beat up a girl in jiu-jitsu on this thing already? No. I didn't talk about that in this podcast? No. I beat a girl's ass one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had to. No, it was in jiu-jitsu. We were in the same class. That's where it gets hazy, man. And I, I honestly, they were like, everyone team up and everyone got partners, and it was me and a girl. And I was like, I don't, I just started. I don't want to do jiu-jitsu with a girl. It's just, there's so many weird elements. It's like, A, you don't want to lose, obviously. You don't really want to win. And it's like, jiu-jitsu. You don't want to rub a, genitals. Jiu-jitsu, yeah, dude. You're like laying stomach to stomach, just like tit smashing it. I felt like fucking weird as shit. Probably got a bony. Yeah, I mean, like, there was definitely part of me that were like, her tits are touching me, you know? And I'm like, this is fucking weird. So I'm like, you know, it's weird because in my head I'm a pervert. So I'm like, oh, man, what the fuck? So it's like, this, it was just too bizarre for me. I mean, that's a reality. If tits are touching you, 
They're tits. They're touching you. It's awesome. Yeah. That's 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 like two points. You're like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, so I'm like fucking wrestling, and then I'm so fucking like whacked out about this that she like bent my wrist up and she tapped me out. Oh, holy shit. She beat me in front yeah. of the whole thing. So I was like fucking pissed, and then the next time we went, she's like, look, I know you're taking it easy. Don't take it easy on me. That's really offensive. So I was like, all right. So we did that, and then like we got up, squared off, and I grabbed the back of her heels and popped them out from her, and just you fucking, fucking swept the legs. Swept her legs, knocked the wind out of her. Did she cry? She was just like, <laughs> she was like the grape lady. I was like, I'm sorry, Jay. Swear to God, she's like, don't stop saying that. And I was like, all right, I, <laughs> I can kick your ass. I'm not doing this. Is that how you got into that wrestling porn that you're into? I was into that way before. You were into that. Matt's into Ultimate extreme. Surrender. Ultimate surrender. <laughs> He's into lesbian wrestling, and then the loser <laughs> fucks the other one or gets fucked with the strap Which, on. Which yeah, it never makes sense to me. The loser gets fucked. Yeah, but she isn't that like kind of the point though. She gets to the, get fucked. Yeah. No, I think it's to dominate the other one. Okay. Which proves again that men having sex is dominant. Yeah. You want it, the winner gets to fuck. Of course. The loser gets fucked. That's true. That's how it goes. Even yeah. if it's too broad, they're still like, yeah, I want, I want to be the one who the fucks. The winner gets the fucking dildo. Dude. Yeah. It no, is hot. That is cool. Dude, it's, it's cool not scenario. Bad. Aunt Sue earmuffs. Earmuffs. Don't or listen to that. She's definitely Googling it right now. Now, Aunt Sue's hip, dude. She I probably know. she probably knows all about it. She knows. She's a nurse. Oh, she's a nasty she nurse. She fucking... She's not nasty. <laughs> I'm saying the fuck, dude? Nurse. I'm just saying she knows about... <laughs> the fuck, dude? It's not like a sexual nurse. It's like a fucking... <laughs> she's a nasty nurse. She That's sees a... horrible things. Exactly. So nothing In we say... In and out of the bedroom. <laughs> stop it, dude. That's my girlfriend's aunt. Sorry. I gotta fucking hang out with these people, dude. This can be awkward as fuck. So we heard the podcast. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. All right, I'm, I have so much nurse stuff that's coming up that I'm burying deep in the What, nurse stuff? I never really got into the fucking nurse... Uh... You never got into nasty nurse subculture? No. I don't think nurses are... I'm not talking are... about a porn category. I'm talking about real life. What is that? They're just freaky, freaky girls. <laughs> well, that, oh fuck! I can, now I can't talk about it because I fucking linked Aunt Sue to it. I know. God damn it, Aunt Sue! I'm gonna email her and tell her not to listen to this episode. You have, you want to talk about nasty nurses and you can't? You can. I I'm know I can. Saying, you say it. I'm what? not saying anything. Saying what? What do you think about nasty nurses? I was. <laughs> they all start with butt play when you have. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, every time you make out, they're like, go straight to my butt, please. Holy shit, dude. It's not me, dude. It's just what I found. She's good. <laughs> this is not appropriate of you. <laughs> this is the worst thing you... Well, no, it's not. No, it's not. Worst thing you did was poison that hamster. Murder. You murdered that poor hamster. Yeah. I'm not letting that shit go. Good. What was the other thing? There was another fucking thing. What, blowing the, uh... Blowing the fish's head off of fireworks? No, there was another thing that just recently came up that I was like, holy fuck, I forgot you did that shit, too. What? Oh, the mice. I forgot all about that. You also drowned mice in Cherry Coke. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, I know, but well, that, I, had, I just that remembered was, that. That, that was an act of mercy. Crazy. That was mercy. That was clemency. Right. We don't need to talk about it again, yeah, but dude. just keep in mind a couple things. Matt, number one, called a lady a cunt. Yeah. Number two, said Koreans were Jews. They're not. <laughs> number three, <laughs> uh, he said nurses only did butt play. Uh, initially, yes. They initially go straight to butt. Skip everything. Like first kiss is Skip butthole. Skip kiss, dude. Kiss. They'll push your face right down to their butthole. <laughs> it's a nasty Nurses. Nurse. Yeah. You pop those scrubs down, dude. It's just two buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of some other hor- horrible things you've said. You think domestic violence is funny? I didn't say that. You've said that the entire podcast. No, I did not. Yeah. I am painting a cartoon image of someone flying through the air doing karate moves on their wife. It's hilarious. Yeah, it is very funny. I, God, the the flying knee across the room to a fucking like their kid. Oh is my so God. fucking funny. Yeah, beating your kids is. Beating your kids is not funny. Not well. It's fucking weird. Depends. It's really weird. Coming home. Well, the it's weird to come home for no reason and beat them, but if like to see the little demerit slip and give them a fucking. Yeah. Hard shove to the couch and hold the breath in for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you have kids, there, fuck. I'm not gonna hit all my the kids. weird shit you did to the hamsters. I'm, I've decided. Imagine I'm not gonna what hit you're my gonna kids. do to fucking children. Like what? What would you think I I'd do? Hold them down and take their breath away, like you just said. I'm not gonna do that. Make them fucking just pinch their nose in their sleep, dude. Just fucking Santa's <laughs> not real. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't think you're gonna be that good of a father. Yeah, right, dude. So many fucking lessons I teach you, my You kid. just got tradition back. You don't yeah. even have tradition. You don't have it. It's more than I you have. I have tons of tradition. Psst. Notre When's Dame. When's the last time you went to church? When's the last time I went to church? Yeah. Uh. Recently. When? Not as recent as me. I was there yesterday. Well, you were there for a fucking funeral. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. I could have just did the viewing and left, but I opted to stay for that. I was at an Egypt- Egyptian Coptic church. What blasphemy? do you think of that? That's uh, not blasphemy. You're a blasphemer. Nope. You're a blasphemer. No, you don't understand. You, if you knew anything about religion, you would know the links between Catholicism and Egyptian Coptic. What? There's tons. Like what? I mean, it's the same religion. Yeah, Except but... Except they don't have the Pope. Of course. Yeah. He won't represent them. It's actually ancient. Ancient. It's one of the most original Christianities. So it's more ancient than the Pope? Yes. No. I don't know. Maybe. Get a church, all right? I always, Go to I always thought Shane Simon Saint Peter was the first pope, which means Did you? he like lived with Jesus. Yeah, he he was the rock that Jesus built, with the Did foundation you, of his this? church. Yeah, well, one of us fucking paid attention in school. The so other did one I. was grabbing dicks. I wasn't grabbing dicks. You were fucking. We around. used to do a thing where if you had a yeah, boner, here comes a dick <laughs> grab story. <laughs> We used to do a thing if you had a boner, you had to go up to the front of the you had to like just stand up with your boner when the teacher wasn't looking and show everyone your boner and then sit back down. That's fucking in your, hilarious. In your, when we had gym day, you'd show everyone your boner in your sweatpants. So we convinced this kid to go like go to like dude, if you walk and get a tissue right now while you have a boner, like you're the man. And then he like walked like all sneakily to get a tissue and was blowing his nose. <laughs> and instantly we're like, Oh my god, look at Tommy and the whole class turned and just saw him with like a boner blowing his nose. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. We had a kid jerk off in history class. Really? To completion. Finished. Shit. That's got up and got tissues. That's pretty tight. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> that's weird as shit. <laughs> that the kid beat off in history. But he did it. Social studies. I think someone in my school did that. Oh, yeah. My brother's friend used to do it. Right into his desk. Jerk off yeah. in class? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. It's insane. That's something you would do. No, nah, I never did that. That's where I, like, I, I peeked out. There were kids that, like, I saw, and I was like, these kids are out of fucking control. What, beating off? Just, or just beating off, doing the weird things. saying fuck you to the bus driver. I, like, tapped out before that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wasn't really disrespectful like oh, that. Oh, yeah. For yeah, all the fucked up weird shit I did, I was super respectful. I was always a pussy. Part. Yeah, when I wouldn't it came do to, like, like, we would go ring and running. Yeah. And, like, bu- I'd be like, I'm not going. Oh, because really? I would go. I yeah. would just watch. So you used to do piss buckets. You piss in a bucket and lean it against the door. And ring the doorbell so they oh answer the God. fucking piss just falls in on their feet. <laughs> wow. You guys really fucking stepped it up. <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, Damn, dude. I feel like this thing's kind of dragging on right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. Where are we at? We're fucking way into it. Like 36 minutes. Oh, this is more than enough time. Plenty of time. Uh, So, yeah, we should probably get a shit cast. Uh, yeah, let's go get one. We're going to need a shit cast to all right. close this off with an actual joke. All right. Let's and do Sue, it. disregard all that shit you heard. Sorry Caitlin, about that. stop going to fucking CrossFit. Please stop making out with Mike Connolly in my dream. Woo, baby. Shaney boy. Shane's playing with my dog over there. What's up, bro? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was playing with the dog. It's all good. Yo. How Dude. weird. That shit cast is a little... It was light. So, yeah, we're, we we usually just play the shit cast, but we, we do have to explain that uh, me and Matt just sat in... What building was that? Some Drexel building. I don't Some, know. Some... Drexel University building. We Science s- building. Sat in a bathroom and waited for about forty minutes for someone to <laughs> use the stall in between us, and no one ever did. A bunch nope. of bunch of kids just came in and pissed, and I would play gay porn <laughs> on my phone while they did. <laughs> oh. And uh, that was it. One guy finally peed, and we just started talking. Yeah, about one. We just decided we're gonna have to talk to somebody who's peeing instead of taking Pooping. that shit yeah. and. uh it's all right. It's all right. It's funny that he's receptive. He talked. So, dig the piss cast, the first ever yeah, piss cast. the very first piss cast. And uh, thanks for listening, and yeah. Enjoy. We're done. Hey, I'm doing a podcast where I interview people who are taking shits in public, but I think you're pissing. you want to be on it anyway? Sure. Sweet. What? Uh, what's your name, bro? Matt. Matt. What's up, man? What are you, uh, Shane's on the podcast as well. Oh, hey, I'm good. What, uh, you don't got a shit at all, just peeing? No, I'm just peeing. How hard are you peeing right now? Like, solid five out of ten. Nice. Yeah. Are you pushing or just letting it flow? Uh, it's kind of driving itself. 
just driving itself? Yeah. Can you cut and hold it and let it go out again? Yeah, that's good. Nice. Really? Techniques. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Matt. How long is this farm have been going? Uh, well, this is the third shit cast. No way. But. You're the first person ever to speak on it. Yeah. That's awesome. Most people are upset. <laughs> Why? I don't know. They're just weird about their birds, I guess, being documented by sound. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks, Matt. Good man. <laughs> Praise the Lord, I was born to drive boat. Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel. I'm lean back with the less pull. Shit, I smoke is like cholesterol. Still dressing on the vest at the festival, the best of all. Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call. Best believe that there was neck involved. Fuck around and almost wrecked the sub. Uh, we took acid for 10 days straight up in the mountain. Yeah. Started running with the stallions. Playing frisbee in the West Indies. Did the tango with my kidneys. Eyes open now, I know just what my kids need. Rockin' very loose pants. Yeah. Rockin' very loose pants. Yeah. Bury the million in the sand by the clock tower. Before I die, take a hot shower. Ride the Harley into the sunset. Ride the Harley into the sunset.